Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Elias and you're watching Garden Forge. I garden here in Northern Virginia, zone 7A. It is late November and I am still planting in the garden. This is elephant garlic and it is perennial to zone 7A. Elephant garlic is technically not a garlic, it's more related to a leek, but it produces these bulbs and they taste just like garlic. Maybe a little bit more mild than a typical garlic. And the great thing about this is that if you plant one of these, it produces a bulb this big and you can see how big this is and this is meaty but the great benefit about this is that it also produces little side shoots on here so it reproduces very fast by producing those little bulbs so i'm hoping to get a lot of this garlic going because in a food forest sense i want more perennial foods that i am planting less and less versus planting annuals like the garlic that we plant it's an annual so we have to plant it, harvest it, and do that every year. With the elephant garlic, you can leave it in the ground and just harvest a few of the ones you want. And it produces quite a bit of garlic on its own. So I definitely want that. Elephant garlic is quite delicious and I've only had it once or twice um, because the few times that I have purchased it, I, wanted, I have wanted to use it just for seeds. This one here has five cloves and I found these on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description below. I bought two of these for $15 on Amazon and that is the best price I found online. I'll put a link in the description below so if you guys want to buy these you can buy them from that. I am very excited about planting these into the ground right now. It is late in the season, it's gotten really cold but I'm going to be planting it against my wall here and the wall will protect the garlic and it will make sure that it grows. This garlic is super big. It's probably two inches tall and two inches wide. It is humongous. So with one of these gloves, you can do quite a bit of cooking. I am making a hole that is about three inches deep and I'm gonna try to bury the top of the garlic about one inch below the surface level. So this little pointy end is the one that needs to go up and then this little flat end needs to go down. This is where the roots come from. As you can see, I have been planting a lot of plants up against my house because this is the place that gets the most sun in my entire yard. So I am packing it in as tightly as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you can catch updates on the garlic. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you on the next one.